Are you tired of hearing how great America is? Well, let me introduce you a small country called Finland. It's a little unassuming country that just happens to be the happiest country in the world. No big deal, America. You can keep the land of the free title. We take the happiest country in the world title any day. So stick around to explore why Finland is kicking America's butt in the happiness department. Top 10 reasons coming up. Let's go. A good education often leads to a happy life. A study conducted by the American Economics Association in 2011 found that good schooling directly leads to the kids feeling more fulfilled overall. And in Finland, all primary and secondary schools are some of the best in the world. Kids start the school at the age of seven, so they get more time to enjoy their childhood. Not only that, but the country's done away with most homework. We focus on teaching children what they need to know on the day and don't burden them when they're with their family. Though not as many Finns go to the college compared to Americans, or university Finns don't drag us down for the rest of our lives. Because in fact, college or university as we call it here, is completely free in Finland. So we do away with the high stress lifestyle that so many Americans have to deal with. Not only the higher education is free, but the Finnish government grants us around 500 euros a month to cover our living expenses during studies. In other words, we get paid to study a degree in Finland. But hey, it doesn't stop there. The Finnish government offers guaranteed student loans for students that are partially forgiven upon graduation, incentivizing students to graduate in target time. And additionally, not many students actually get a student loan because there you can use the student benefit and work during the summer in between terms. So American universities like Stanford and Harvard are one of the best in the world and they deserve the credit. That said, they favor the elite in the society. Most people just want to learn new skills and expand their skill set without extra stress. And speaking of stress, how many times have you been online and seen Americans complaining about their healthcare system? And I've seen many stories where people have walked to the hospital rather than taking the ambulance ride because it costs so much money there. That's right. According to talktomira.com, Americans pay on average $1,200 for an ambulance ride. Here in Finland, we're just looking at you guys thinking, ah, oh, I'll buy it at a higher price. Because here in Finland, the basic fee for an ambulance ride for residents without any insurance is 16 euros. 16 euros. Seriously though, the Finnish healthcare system blows America out of the water. I don't even think Americans will argue with me on this one. So in Finland, we have a universal healthcare that is mostly paid by the municipality, which means everyone is eligible for treatment and the overall costs are very low, so we don't have to take out the mortgage every time we stop or tow. Furthermore, let's compare a basic doctor fee visits between USA and Finland. Visiting a doctor for a consultation in Finland will cost a maximum of 20 euros 90 cents, while visiting a doctor in the United States could cost between 150 to 450 dollars for those without insurance according to khealth.com ouch that's a buttload of money and that said it's not all sunsides and roses here in finland either because sometimes the waiting times can be quite long and this is why some people still get the private health insurance to kind of expedite the process and get treatment a little bit faster although it's seen more like a luxury thing now compared to the us where according to the united states census bureau up to 66 percent of citizens have a private health insurance and according to financiala up to 24 percent of Finns have taken up a private health insurance to avoid the waiting times so there's a big difference i know us is great when it comes down to developing new medical technology and medicine you for example helped us a lot while developing a vaccine for the COVID. but still you guys need to sort out your healthcare system out there it's looking pretty bleak. And no wonder we Finns are happy because we don't have to worry about getting sick or getting treatment if the brown stuff hits the fan. In fact, we Finns don't have to visit hospital that often because of the following reason. And it doesn't take a genius to figure out that less crime in your country leads to a happier life overall. For example, according to World Population Review, for every 100,000 people, the United States has a crime rate of 47.70 people, while Finland has only 27.59. And people feel safe walking around during the day and at night. I've never had any big scares of myself, and the same goes for my female friends. And if another Finn wanted to rob me, it wouldn't work because we always have to maintain our personal space. Applies to robbers as well. But the scariest part of America is definitely the gun crime. Because it seems that you can buy guns as easily as beer. What are you buying? Hey, can you get me one beer, please? Is that all, stranger? Oh, and can you also get me one Glock G19? <laughs> Thank you. But over here we have much tighter restrictions. So if you want to get the gun, it involves various background checks, an interview with the police, password verification, and also an in-depth analysis of handwritten letter of intent. <laughs> And according to Nation Master, all of these restrictions mean there are around three times more guns per 100 residents in the US than in Finland. 
and according to the same source, 100 times more murders in the States than in Finland. Obviously, it will depend where you live. For example, if you compare downtown Chicago with Maine, big difference is probably over there. Still, I think it's a big reason why Finns feel happier to compare to Americans. But this next reason may even play a bigger part. Americans are all about making that money. You guys are proud of your hustle and I kind of respect that. Everyone likes hard workers after all. But sometimes I think Americans go a little bit overboard and I believe that can have some negative effects on their personal lives. Because here in Finland we are a lot more relaxed about things. Most employees only work around 30 to 40 hours a week and we get way more vacation time. So according to Forbes, while Americans get only two weeks off every year, in Finland we get the whole month and it's common to take four weeks off in the summer, paid. And not only that, when we come from work, we're off the clock, no annoying emails from our bosses or calls asking us to fill in. When we are done for the day, we are done. It's also much easier for us to take a day off if we're sick. In most cases, you just call up work and let them know you're feeling under the weather. And in America, it feels like you have to clock in even if you're at the dead store. And it's not always about the big things. Small quality of life changes can make a country much happier to live in, like better public transport. But before that, if you're enjoying the content, remember to hit thumbs up so we can get this content recommended to more people. So everything in America revolves around the car. It makes sense. You guys invented the automobile, so you built your country around your new invention. But it feels like if you don't have a car, you seem to be stuck with limited options. You can't take the train and you're seen as a loser if you even consider taking the bus. But here in Finland, things are different. A few of my friends don't even have a license, let alone a car. And the truth is, no one cares, really. They take the public transport to work and walk or cycle during the weekends. And it's super easy, better for the environment and makes your life much less stressful knowing that you don't have to hop in your car to go to the shops. Plus you can save a lot of money that way. On top of that, because we have so few people here in Finland, the public transportation is never packed, which means that you never or rarely have to let anyone into a personal space. Good stuff. And best of all, provided you are in the capital area or the city of Tampere, we have trams. Trams combine the best part about trains and buses. They avoid traffic and are super reliable plus they are great for the planet. However, for those who want to live in smaller towns, the almighty tram is nowhere to be found, so it's better to invest in a car to get around. Wow, that is some nice rhymes. <laughs> Speaking of which, the following reason ties perfectly into traffic and pollution. Remember when Trump said he wanted America to have the cleanest air in the world? You know, we have the cleanest air in the world in the United States and it's gotten better since I'm president. Well, here in Finland we actually do. Okay, maybe not technically the cleanest, but very top quality. Anyways, according to the Swiss air quality technology company IQ Air, we are nearly in the top 10 of least polluted countries. Just Estonia, New Zealand and the Aussies are just ahead of us. They'll be pleased to know. So we are the 119th least polluted country in the world. What about America? They're as high as 99th. And according to an article published on mediconnection.fi, our water is also the cleanest in the world. You don't have to worry about drinking the tap water here. Actually, it's recommended because it's so good, healthy, and also delicious. Although we Finns are probably not the most outgoing and social people out there, we still take good care of our environment and cleanliness here. And it's not just our air and water that are clean, our tax returns are as well. Something a lot of Americans like to say about Finland and other Nordic countries that we pay so much taxes here. And the thing is that they're not wrong because Finland definitely has one of higher tax rates. Although some call it socialism, which is definitely wrong. But at the same time, we get a lot more out of our taxes compared to the Americans, like free education, inexpensive healthcare system, good public transport, an awesome social security system. And if we look at the list of countries ranked by the Gini index, which measures the wealth inequality within a society, we are the 10th most equal country in the world with the Gini index number of 27.3. In contrast, America is all the way down with 41.4. By the way, the number zero would mean perfect equality and number one, perfect inequality. I think it's safe to say that Finland is rich, but we are not owned by the rich. And everyone has a fair shot and is well cared for. And we look out for our own, and this following reason explains perfectly why. The political landscape in America looks a bit scary at the moment. In 2021, rioters stormed the Capitol building, and it seems like the Republicans and Democrats are constantly at each other's throats. And I get it, America is a big country with a lot of people, and you most likely have more arguments than compared to a country with only 
5.5 million people in it. Still, Finland feels a lot more stable than the United States because our political system is based on two parties fighting on every single topic. In contrast, Finland has a multi-party system, but that doesn't mean that we can't be friends with someone just because they voted for one party rather than the other. Putting politics aside leads to a happier life overall. And we actually had elections this year, and while some people were upset about the result, you don't see the Social Democratic Party voters storming any government buildings, do you? One of the reasons why the United States became the most powerful country in the world is because its citizens have always pushed themselves to be the absolute best they can be. If your neighbor gets a new shiny card, you have to get one as well. But here in Finland, we don't think like that. If our neighbor gets a shiny new car, we think how we can smash the car or pop the tires because my neighbor can't have what I can't have. Yeah, Finns are a bit jealous to people sometimes. That's a typical joke about Finnish jealousy. In the US, while that's great for economic productivity by always striving for more, it's not the best system to keep people happy and healthy. And there was a very interesting comment in the psychology today. Let me cite it for you. In Finland, people who are extremely wealthy avoid flaunting their wealth to ostentatious lifestyles. Indeed, many continue to lead modest lifestyles. Some forego luxury vehicles in favor of using public transport. If material success is downplayed, then each individual can be treated with more respect. Finns enjoy a cohesive society that is characterized by a high-level social trust. This ingredient is conspicuously absent in many advanced countries where crime rates are higher. And as a Finn, I have to say, this thing makes a lot of sense. So if you're rich or successful, we don't like to flash or cash that much. And instead, we like to just keep to ourselves. Because bragging is seen kind of like a bad thing over here. If you make 30,000 euros and you're happy with your life, who's to say you should feel ashamed because someone is making 40,000 euros? And you should take pride in your work and achievements. Americans certainly do. But it can be also unhealthy to judge yourself according to other people's standards. But hey, we're not quite done yet. I have one more bonus reason for you. And that is the parental leave and support between Finland and America. Because in Finland, the government recognizes the struggle and stress that new parents have to go through when having kids. That's why Finland recently updated the parental leaves so that both parents have a collective of 320 days paid leave regardless of the job or industry. To make matters even better, they offer a free maternity box to all new mothers containing essential goods and items vital for caring a newborn. And guess what? According to Finnish baby box, Finland has the lowest mortality rates for newborns, which is partly due to this baby box. Contrasting with the USA where paid parental leave is not nationally mandated. The employees can only expect financial compensation for leave taken to raise their children through qualified employers such as Family and Medical Leave, an organization that seeks to provide protected paid leave for family and medical emergency. Whereas in Finland everyone qualifies for the paid leave regardless of your gender, your occupation or your employer. And according to Forbes, let's not forget that having a baby in the USA will cost you $18,500 without an insurance on average. And even with insurance, that's a little bit less than $3,000. And in Finland, you paid it 50 euros a day, 50 euros a day. So it's easy to see why having a child in Finland is a better option. Oh, and did I mention that in the USA, you won't even get the baby box for the newborn? That's too bad. And speaking of bad, there are a number of things that foreigners can unintentionally do to make Finns feel uncomfortable. Watch this video next to find out those things.